Hey everybody, it's Jeff from New York and I'm here in beautiful Atlantic City on a not so beautiful day. It's cold and rainy and foggy and windy and you name it, it's crazy out on the boardwalk. But that doesn't matter because we're all going to have a good time. Today is the annual St. Patrick's Day Parade here in Atlantic City on the boardwalk. This is like the 50 something annual parade. It's been around for quite a while, drawing quite a big crowd this year as with all years. I'm uh, standing right now inside the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. Uh, I chose this hotel to film the parade because, well, shh, don't tell anyone. It's the only place on the boardwalk where you have an overcover the entire boardwalk. So if it starts to rain, we'll be okay. After the parade, I'm going to several parties after parade parties. So that's going to be a separate video. So stay tuned for that here on the New York channel. In the meantime, let's enjoy the St. Patrick's Day Parade. Put your Irish on. A lot of people around here are wearing green, including myself. So uh, let's get going and check out the parade, shall we? I think Kelsey Grammer, by the way, is once again the Grand Marshal of this parade. I thought they said Chelsea Handler, which would have been much more exciting, but it's Kelsey Grammer, so it is what it is. See you on the other side of the intro. One thing I can't help but notice today is there are a ton of children here for the St. Patty's Day Parade. Atlantic City truly is becoming a family resort. This, I believe, is the Atlantic City High School Navy Junior ROTC Group. And here we have Atlantic City's Bravest, the fire department, and they've certainly been busy the past couple of years. Lots of boardwalk and hotel fires in the past couple of years, and well, they could have all been disasters, but we really didn't have any disasters thanks to them. By the way, I mentioned earlier in this video that I was going to several parties after this parade, and I am certainly going to do that, and that video will most likely be available tomorrow. We're going to make this a uh, St. Patty's Day weekend, Atlantic City St. Patty's Day weekend, even though this was actually the weekend before St. Patty's Day weekend, but don't tell anyone, it'll ruin the whole thing. By the way, speaking of the parade after parties, here's just a quick teaser of tomorrow's video. As you can see, lots of places were on fire after the St. Patrick's Day Parade, and uh, lots more to come tomorrow. Stay tuned for that video, hopefully tomorrow. And uh, speaking of fire, let's get back to the firemen in that St. Patty's Day Parade. Hey, here comes Chelsea Handler. I mean, Kelsey Grammer. Here comes the Irish pub float.
This is the Avalon String Band from Philadelphia. They sure know how to dress for a parade, don't they? Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying the videos on the New York channel, and if you are, please subscribe to the channel by clicking on that little logo in the lower right hand corner if you haven't done so already. And uh, if you lads are enjoying this St. Patrick's Day parade in particular, then give it a thumbs up. Thank you. I just can't get that Irish thing down. Oh, wait a minute. Always oh, after me lucky charms. How was that? Ew, politicians. Ooh, nice car. And here we have the Women of Irish Heritage. I wonder if they got a one-way ticket for that tram or an all-day pass. Here we have Rita's, very popular here at the Jersey Shore. Is that a national thing? Let me know in the comments below. Here we have the Wonder Bar with a beautiful antique convertible Corvette. Gotta love that license plate. Hey, it's Chickies and Pete's with their crab fried mascot, I guess. Someday I'll eat there, I promise. I'm not sure who they are, but they're somewhat entertaining and somewhat unusual as well. Clearly, the drinking has started. She wanted a puppy for Christmas, but was somewhat let down. Here we have the Durning String Band, probably from Philadelphia. You could usually tell Philadelphians by the clothes they wear. For those of you not from the area, Philadelphia is about an hour away from Atlantic City, New York City about an hour and a half. Here's the Doherty's float. The Doherty family owns several restaurants here in Atlantic City, including one at resorts called Doherty's Steakhouse and Wall Bar. You've seen those videos. They also have Doc's Oyster Bar and the historic Knife and Fork Inn. I find it odd that they're playing John Denver's Country Row. Don't get me wrong, I like John Denver, but it just doesn't seem very Irish, and it's certainly not copyright friendly. And here we have the yard in the house. The yard, of course, a fantastic place for food, drinks, and live entertainment, and it's located in Bally's. You guys knew that. You've seen the videos here on the New York channel. Good old New Jersey State Police. I haven't seen a police car with a cherry top in decades. What's with that? It's Batman and the Batmobile. There is actually a Batman character that walks up and down the boardwalk, uh, usually during the season, not so much off season. Uh, he's the only character I really see here. You know, you go to Times Square, you go to Vegas, you see all these characters out. Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, Elmo's. 
This is the only guy. He's a Batman and he's quite popular. Now this isn't him, but if you've walked up and down the boardwalk if you visit Atlantic City often enough, I'm sure you've seen him. Here's the Ducktown Tavern float. Ducktown Tavern definitely getting a visit from me in the near future. Probably going to be a video on my other channel, Jersey Jeff Eats. As a matter of fact though, the Ducktown neighborhood here in Atlantic City will be featured here on the New York channel very soon. And here we have the AC Beer and Music float. AC Beer and Music Fest is uh, mid-April. I should be back from Vegas by then. And uh, if hopefully, if I can, I will attend and bring you guys some video. Here's some pretty ladies and some super fast cars. Who could ask for anything more? I always catch the young lady's eyes. It must be my huge camera. And here we have the Atlantic City Beach Patrol. Now the people in the boat don't look like they're old enough to be lifeguards, but maybe in a few years. Something about parades and cars, I don't know which one I would prefer, the Cadillac convertible, the new Corvettes, the old convertible Corvette, or this Ford pickup. Leave a comment below, which one would you like to own? And it's Mr. Peanut. Mr. Peanut has quite a history here in Atlantic City. Once again, I do plan on covering the history of Atlantic City. That would probably be a series of videos, and uh, not sure when, but hopefully sometime soon. And here we have the Hard Rock crew, right in front of their home turf.
Nice job as always, Hard Rock. And here we have the Claridge Hotel. Coming up next is the Boogie Nights slash Tropicana slash Caesars slash Harrah's Float. Caesars certainly got their money out of that one. And here we have Resorts Casino Hotel float. Uh, there's a Mad Bunny on that float, and Mad Bunny being the current theme of the Bar 1. Bar 1 always changing their theme seasonally at Resorts. One of my favorite themed bars here in town. Uh, I think I have a video coming up on Bar 1 with regards to Mad Bunny. Uh, in any event, this is Resorts float. And we're nearing the end of the annual St. Patrick's Day Boardwalk Parade here in Atlantic City. Uh, don't forget if you'd like to support the New York channel, then just click on that thanks button right underneath the video. I do appreciate your support. Remember to tune in tomorrow for the after parties here on uh, St. Patrick's Day weekend. See you tomorrow. <laughs>